Now we join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. And that is why E equals MC squared. And now for a revisit on discovery that wrapped the astrobiological world. Five years ago, Derek R. Lovely and Kazam Kashafi of the University of Massachusetts in Amherst reported the discovery of an organism 200 miles off of Puget Sound. They named the organism Strain 121. The reason why this discovery ever got out of science magazines is because of the record broken by its discovery. Strain 121 pushed the limits of the tiny box of life. Only micron wide of Strain 121 is a type of extremophile. Hey, it looks like I mentioned the subject of the day. Extremophiles are microscopic organisms that still baffle scientists because of their ability to thrive in an environment shown to kill anything else. Extremophiles are identified by different prefixes attached to them. For example, strain 121 is a type of hyperfermophile. This means that it thrives in extremely hot environments. Strain 121's environment of choice is the inside of a deep sea thermal vent with a temperature of over 121 degrees Celsius. Strain 121 repro reproduces asexually by splitting into many different parts. The most remarkable aspect of Strain 121's unbelievable toughness is the fact that um, after being exposed to temperatures of 130 Celsius for two hours, Strain 121 was able to reproduce. Says researcher Derek Lovely, growth at 121 is remarkable because sterilization at 121 Celsius typically in pressurized autoclaves, autoclaves to maintain water in a liquid form is a standard procedure shown to kill all previously described microorganisms and heat resistant spores. Strain 121 eats, um, gets its energy from iron by transferring electrons from the iron atom. This ability makes it an object of interest to alternative energy researchers. Scientists think it may be advantageous to use strain 121 to help clean up nuclear spills. Well, in the words of Bugs Bunny, that's all folks.